investigative report by the International Policy Group has come out in defense of Kenyan Lieutenant General Johnson Mogoa Kimani Ondieki, who was recently sacked as commander of the UN mission in South Sudan. The group's report, titled Children of a Lesser God, claims the move by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to sack Lieutenant General Ondieki was an expedient political decision to please the United States, whose citizens had been subjected to gross human rights violations, including sexual violence by armed government soldiers in Juba. Patrick Amima has the details of that report. Early this month, the UN Chief Ban Ki-moon sacked Lieutenant General Johnson Mogoa Ondieki as commander of the UN peacekeeping force in South Sudan after a damning report showed that the mission failed to protect civilians in Juba when the government and opposition troops engaged in heavy fighting in the capital between July 8th to 25th. This kicked off a diplomatic row with President Uhuru Kenyatta ordering immediate withdrawal of the Kenyan troops from South Sudan. The first batch of 100 soldiers returned home on 9th November. A Kenyan commander said an estimated 1,000 soldiers will return home in batches. The International Policy Group, a non-governmental organization dedicated to sustainable peace and justice, carried out investigations into the power politics behind the removal of General Ondieki. According to the organization, Ban Ki-moon violated UN procedures, powers and processes when he dismissed the peacekeeper's commander. A UN report said peacekeepers abandoned their posts and failed to respond to pleas for help from aid workers under attack in a nearby hotel compound. The hotel served as a safe house for humanitarian and covert intelligence activities. A few hours after fighting in Juba stopped, rogue units from the Sudan People's Liberation Army converged on the compound and specifically targeted American citizens. A report by the International Policy Group claims Ban Ki-moon made General Ondieki a sacrificial lamp in order to appease and ward off pressure from the United States of America and Britain, who are permanent members of the UN Security Council. The report further states the US government policy to forcibly change the regime in Juba led to US citizens being prime targets during the Juba conflict. It concludes that Lieutenant General Ondieki's removal was a move to help a superpower cover up for its negligence and failure to protect its citizens. The report says there is systemic and structural dysfunction in UN missions that require major reforms to avoid recurrence of a similar crisis as was in Juba. The International Policy Group has proposed that the UN mission in South Sudan should be replaced with an African mission in South Sudan, AMIS, as a more effective alternative to what the report calls the failed UN mission. The report also says Kenya should remain engaged in the peace process and should consider rejoining armies if it is formed. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.